Okay. So. You are interested in installing skins for Spelunky 2, huh? You come to the right place. We're gonna do a little... We're gonna get past that and we're gonna do a little quick start guide. Hey. If you guys don't know me, I'm Orion Hart. I stream on Twitch five days a week. Twitch.tv slash Orion Hart. Pretty easy. If you're on my channel, you know how it's spelled. So, <laughs> we're gonna listen to the Unova Pokemon Lo-Fi Mix, which I listen to on repeat. How do we get started? Let's go Google search Modlunky or use the link in the description to get to Splunky FYI Modlunky 2 GitHub page. Wonderful. Well, we're there. What do we do next? Modlunky2.exe. Download this file. When you download it, you are going to notice that it says something. Hey, Modlunky 2 uh, may be harmful for your computer. Well, you know what? It's not. At least not, not as of current. If you have an antivirus, it'll check it anyway. Let's download it, make sure we get it good and ready. Cool. So we have it downloaded. What next? First, we need to navigate ourselves to our Steam folder. Local disk C or whatever your local disk, your main hard drive that Steam is loaded on, you're going to go to. Program files x86. We're gonna look for the Steam or for the uh, Steam folder. Steam, Steam apps, common, Spelunky 2. Wonderful. You're gonna see. I already have Modlunky 2 in here. When you get Modlunky 2, you're gonna move it into this folder from your downloads. You're going to run it. When you run it, it's going to potentially say Windows might say that it stopped it from running because it was an unknown or unlicensed application. Click the more info button if this does happen, and then click run anyway. So we're gonna run Spelunky 2. When you get into Spelunky 2, make sure it's up to date. If it's not, it'll say update now at the top. Click the update now button. It'll update from this client. Next thing to do, you're gonna to wanna to install Playlunky. You can choose whatever version you like. The most recent is probably the best or stable. Next thing, go to the extract assets tab and extract Spelunky2.exe. When you click this extract button, it will begin to extract assets from the exe, and it will also create the mods folder in the process. So when this is done, you're going to have this folder. I'll show it to you. When this finishes, it will say uh, extraction complete. Extraction complete! Amazing! Absolutely wonderful. Very cool. And it's backed up the Spelunky EXE. Awesome. I also highly recommend, and so does the Monlunky team, uh, backing up your save game. Control C, the save game.save button, Control V it. Now I have a copy. Very cool. Let's take a look at this new mods folder. You're going to have extracted. I don't know if overrides or compressed are still in there. This is, this, this is uh, from my original installation of Mod Monkey, which has changed very much. You used to have to pack and repack assets, which is apparently a very dangerous process for your files. But let's take a look. We have the packs folder. So where do we get mods from? We get mods from Spelunky.fyi. So we can go click browse mods. If you want to learn about modding, go to modding overview or about the, the process. You can submit a mod if you've created one, created a texture, anything like that. Even if it's just changing one item, you can upload this and people will use it. I use a uh, wonderful little texture pack from Mapples, which makes my stuff neon. It's just a cool recolor um, and a rework of stuff. So if we want to browse the mods, for example, uh, we want to do a bigger mod like Super Lucky Warrior. I've already downloaded that. I'll show that to you. You can search that here. Uh, or if you want to download a skin mod, I'll show you how to do that real quick. Got to me, one of my favorites. I click the download button. Depending on your browser, it'll either download it or it'll open it up in its own tab for you to save. Save the image as character underscore red, which is Danny's color. And then um, I'll show you where to move this. My friend Landy recommended if you have just one skin so you can make it as modular as possible, just make a folder for that skin. You can also pack it all together if you wanted to, but let's say 
God damn it. So we made a folder in here. Just drag character underscore red PNG into this folder. Open up mod Lunky. Now, under play Lunky, it's already refreshed. If for some reason it doesn't show up, click the refresh mods button. Now, when we load the game with play Lunky, it'll load that skin. Wonderful. Let's take a look at another mod, Super Lunky Warrior. Extract the folder. So I downloaded, this was a, a full pack that I, that I downloaded. Um, it's not just one file, right? So what we'll do, very simply, is control X or just drag, paste it into the packs folder. Take a look in here. Look, it hasn't updated. Refresh, there it is. Beautiful. So when we do the, all of this, you can also see the load order. Something to pay attention to. My moles folder creates uh, or has uh, journal entries textures in it that I've changed for the new mole bosses. Random, by design and by example, has a journal entries file in it that is the vanilla textures. If I loaded random second, it would overwrite the mole textures and I wouldn't get the mole texture changes. So make sure it loads from top to bottom. Make sure you're loading what you don't want to overwrite or rather don't have uh, everything packed into one folder if you have skins um, so that you can make this as modular as possible and you can load them in the correct order. So if we unselect all of these, I can also show you, I can, the order that I click on them is the order that they go into the stack here. That's just another little thing to look at. Now let's just see if we have installed Mod Lunky correctly. This will pop up. So when you install Play Lunky, you see, if you see right here where it says uninstall on Play Lunky, I chose my version, there will be an install button. That same little, um, same, same little window, that same little console window will pop up there and uh, download Play Lunky from the internet. So let's just check if we did this correctly. And there's Super Lunky Warrior. Now let's just see, does God Demi pop up correctly as well? She does. Okay, so you've learned how to install ModLunky and make sure that everything is good and schmoovin'. If you like me, click the subscribe button. If you like the Spelunky content and not me, also click the subscribe button to spite me and leave a comment uh, saying how much you don't like me, and that would just make my day. If you like this tutorial and want me to make more, leave a comment on what I should make a tutorial on next. And if you want to see any specific content, leave a comment or join my discord uh, to which there will be a, dis a link in the description as well as links for everything else I mentioned in the video including maybe some of the other streamers who have helped me get this started. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for being here.